As a smart seller, you'll want your home in tip-top shape, but you don't want to eat into your profits by overspending on home improvements. You won't be around to enjoy them anyway. The key is to focus on the most important repairs to make before selling a house to ensure every dollar you spend supports a higher asking price. Hey everyone, it's your favorite local realtor, Adam Brunel. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. You know, smaller and less expensive updates in combination with good staging will have a great return. But how do you know what things to do before putting your house on the market? Prioritize these seven updates and consider letting the rest go. Number one, the most important repair to make before selling. Fixed damaged flooring. Scratched up wood flooring, ratty, outdated carpeting, and tired linoleum make your home feel sad. Buyers might take one step inside and scratch the property from their list. Want to know how to increase the value of your home? Install new flooring. Number two, fix water stains. You've learned to live with the results of a long fixed plumbing snafu. But for your buyers, a water stain suggests there could be a dozen pesky problems hidden beneath the surface. That's why this is one of the things to do before putting your house on the market. No buyer wants to buy a money pit. First, make sure the problem is fixed. Bring in a plumber to look for leaky piping or poor yard drainage if your basement is damp. Diverting rainwater from your foundation may cost as little as $800 and repairing a leaky pipe costs about $300. As for the repair work, replacing a water stain ceiling runs about $670, and drywall costs around $1.50 per square foot. All of these are cheaper than a lost sale. Number three, repair torn window screens. So super inexpensive and even DIYable, you can purchase a window screen frame repair kit from a home improvement store for 10 to 15 bucks. Considering the simplicity of this repair, making the fix is always worth it, and so are other small but highly visible issues. When you're debating on how to increase the value of your home, nix any small problems, snags, or ugly spots that might make buyers scrunch up their eyebrows. Number four, update grout. Is your grout yellowing or cracked? Buyers will notice. New grout, on the other hand, can make Old floors look like they just came straight from the showroom. The best return on investment projects before selling a home involve making a home look like new. I recently sold a home above asking price after a complete regrout on a bathroom. This is another small fix with a big impact. Simple bathroom regrouting may cost $1 to $2 per square foot increasing up to $10 per square foot for more complicated jobs. And if you're handy, you can even save more by DIYing it. Number five, resurrect a dying lawn. Nothing says this one's gonna take some work like a brown, patchy, weedy lawn. Fixing the problem doesn't cost a ton of money and you'll get it all back and then some, once you sell. Hiring a lawn care service to apply fertilizer and weed control will cost around 375 bucks. Once you sell that home, that comparatively cheap fix could recoup $1,000. That's an unbeatable 267% return on investment. Number six, erase pet damage. Did your sort of darling kitchen scratch your bedroom door? Fix the damage before listing your home. Otherwise, buyers may consider the, the scuffs a canary in the coal mine, so to speak. If you have pet damage, buyers will then look for pet stains on the floor. Refinishing a door costs between 100 bucks and 215 or less if you're willing to DIY it. Replacing pet damaged carpeting or hardwood may be a bigger job than buffing out some scuffs, but it's totally worth the cash. Number seven, revive an outdated kitchen. A full kitchen renovation is really worth it when it comes time to sell, even though your buyers love a fresh look. Kitchens are still one of the most important features for buyers. The problem is, this $65,000 upgrade isn't something that buyers will pay you back for. Sellers recoup about 62% of a full kitchen renovation. If you're updating the space just for your sale, focus on low-cost, high-impact projects instead. 
Updating the kitchen doesn't need to be expensive. Painting wood cabinets, updating hardware, or installing new countertops or appliances could be enough. Setting up your home for selling success doesn't have to be expensive. Focus on the most important repairs to make before selling a house by picking projects that do more than look pretty. Choose updates that get your home in selling shape and justify a higher asking price. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, be the cool guy or girl and give it a thumbs up. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.